How's everybody doing? This is Ruben once again with your philosophy. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you liked any of my past videos, please subscribe to my channel, like or comment on the video. It would be greatly appreciated. Also, make sure to check out our blog, our Instagram, our Twitter, uh, our Facebook. We have great and powerful information there on a regular basis, so check that out. Today, I want to talk about perseverance and intelligence. What is more important, perseverance or intelligence? Now, society tells us and feeds onto us that without intelligence, or matter of fact, intelligence, you know, is looked high upon. That you have intelligence, you know, you're somebody special and you deserve the best out of life, right? Now, I'm not against intelligence. I believe all of us have, you know, intelligence to a certain degree and can always get better. I believe in what's called brain wiring, how everybody's wired differently and everybody has gifts or talents at a certain degree. I believe intelligence is one of those talents. So, yes, I believe, you know, for example, Albert Einstein maybe had a, you know, an incline towards intelligence. Um, you know, certain people in, in school, they're the more inclined toward, towards intelligence. They get things in, in, in school subjects better than others. So I believe that's a gift. But it's not necessary for you to have success. And throughout history, this has been the case. And I don't know why people still, you know, bring up intelligence to a high level that if you don't if you don't pr preserve that high intelligence then you you cannot succeed now like i said i'm not against intelligence you cannot go through life and not have some sort of intelligence you have to if you don't have it get it and how you get it i mean read books study something you don't need it, but it's, it's 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 a good thing to have. I mean, you, if if for example, if you have a good vocabulary, you'll be able to communicate better. And many studies and research has shown that if you know how to communicate, um, stress reduces, and and you you live you you live a more peaceful life. The reason is because. When you don't know how to communicate, for example, vocabulary, if you don't have the proper vocabulary and you don't know how to communicate, then it, it, it frustrates you. And that frustration gets bottled up because it can't come out. You can't communicate your stress to somebody in a proper way without getting enraged. This is why people get angry and do stupid things. Because they, you know, they lack proper, appropriate vocabulary to communicate those feelings. So when, when you don't have a proper vocabulary for you to communicate what you're feeling, then you get frustrated and that gets bottled up. So you cannot release it because you, you can't, there's no, you feel like there's no way of releasing it. This is why in prison, and research and studies have shown this, <clears throat> um, in prison, people get into, uh, they, they get a chance to draw, they get a chance to paint, they get a chance to do sculpture, they get to work with their hands. And if you look at these people's, uh, um, you know, drawings or, or, or paintings or or, or poetry or lyrics, they're always very dark. Well, why? Because they may, they may lack the proper vocabulary to get that out. Does they have to get it out in some other way? Whether it's to poetry, whether it's to painting, whether it's to drawing or, or sculptures. They get it out through there. And this is why they allow that to happen in prison, for them to get it out. And there's research and studies that back this up. That's why they do that. 
they allow the person to to be artistic or, or to let their their creativity flow because they can release that they can release that pain they can release that that frustration they can release it through that so yes i believe you know having good intelligence is a great tool and you shouldn't walk around this world you know without having some sort of proper intelligence yes I don't know. but it's not necessary for you to have reach success it doesn't mean that i have to have a high intellectual you know incline before i can reach super success no throughout history that's a, that has been proven you know thomas uh Th um henry ford was once taken into court and he was being sued <clears throat> And and um, the prosecutor, basically, his case was, you know, how could you believe this man and, and, and give him the right to win this case when he doesn't even have an intellectual incline, right? Like, he's been robbing all these people because he's not intelligent. Look, he dropped out his what's so great and he this and that and, and that and this. And Henry Ford's... You know, the fence was, hey, you know, yes, I may not know what so and so means or what, you know, a thousand divided by 340, you know, multiplied by what and what is, but with the push of a button, I could find someone that can. Because I'm that, you know, I'm, 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 I'm wealthy, I've, I've made it in life. Uh, it wasn't necessary for me to know all that for me to reach super success creating forward you know <clears throat> so throughout history it has been proven that intelligence is a great tool but it's not necessary for you to reach success Perseverance is what gives you success. Perseverance is what allows you to break through any obstacle. It's perseverance. Perseverance beats intelligence. If you have a person with high perseverance and high intelligence, and the one with high perseverance lacks intelligence, and the ones with the one with high intelligence lacks perseverance, the one with perseverance the higher perseverance will always win. And that has happened throughout history from, from uh, you know, combat in wars through leadership and, and, and countries falling and, and growing and uprising and, and throughout history has always been the case. Those who persevere always win come out on top think about the french revolution the french revolution was one with you know rocks and sticks think about it. if you can win a war with rocks and sticks compared to the opponent who has guns if you can win with rock and sticks against guns I mean, what is what is going on there, right? What what is the secret? Well, the secret is perseverance. Perseverance always comes up, comes out on top, always wins. There's no way around it. 